Hey, what's up guys? Blackout Bill here. Uh, we're doing an easy one. 04 Xterra. It's got shaken in the wheel. You think maybe bent rim, maybe bad tire. Um, but my, the Mavis said it was the shocks. So shocks are easy enough to change. I'll show you how to do it, get it done. They changed everything on YouTube, so in order for me, me to make my $100 a year, I need a thousand subscribers. So if you want to help the, the little man doing it for fun, subscribe, dis disable notifications, you'll never see me again, and you'll help me out. And then uh, leave a comment. Let me know what I can do for you. All right? Anyway, let's get the job done. So this will work for uh, 04 Xterras and a couple years below. I'm not sure about the 05, and I believe it will work for certain years on the Frontier. Super easy. Top nut's 14 millimeter. You might have to grip it with something on the top. Uh, minor shot, so I just held this to stop it from turning, uh, and that did the trick. On the bottom, you have a 17. It's a fixed nut on the inside. 17 millimeter, this will come out, and uh, this little thing should pop right out. Once my top nut's off, bada bing, bada boom. I just gotta wiggle this nut out of here. Um, before you do the job, you know, make sure you, you just, uh, support the vehicle with jack stands and stuff. I got the, the jack lifting up just so I can put pressure on the on the joint so that this will wiggle wiggle give me some leverage to wiggle it free. The kit's gonna come with the new shock uh, and the hardware. A couple uh, couple washers, some rubber grommets, and then the nuts. Uh, the original hardware is a little bit different, so that could be a part number basis, uh, maybe because it's generic. Uh, and it came off like this. So when you put it back together, you want the rubber. The rubber's touching the bracket up top here. Put the rubber's here and here, and then the metal on the outside of those. So when you install the when you install the shock, I pushed it through up top first. And then it was wasn't compressed, so I, you're gonna have to squeeze it and push it in. If it's not tied, sometimes they come with a tie to keep them compressed. So you, you're just gonna have to kind of grunt, pull, push it up until the holes line up, and then stick your bolt in there. Kit did not come with a stop with a bolt, so make sure you save your bolt there. It did come with a new nut for the top. So the new hardware, that those rubber grommets look different. It looks different from the stock ones. This is what the the old ones looked like. Uh, and the nut's different. This is a 17 millimeter nut that came with my kit, but when you compress down on the rubber grommet, it flattened out. So even though they look different going in, once you tighten down on it, it's like, a lot of people have problems with this spinning, so you have to, it's got a spot up here to grab uh, with the vice grips or some sort of a, uh, whatever. So you, you don't grab the threads, you grab the top, and then you spin. Mine didn't spin, and it's, it's tight. Okay, just be careful not to over tighten. Uh, and then my stock bolt on the bottom there. Uh, so that felt like I was going to tighten it to the point of snapping off, so just be careful. Never over tighten. Don't under tighten either. Get a, uh, uh, a torque wrench if you're worried. The old shock, uh, they told me it was bad. I don't really have anything to go on, but they're, uh, they're safe. But if you compress it, you can see it doesn't come back out. Bad shock. Seriously, guys, novice job. If you can take a tire off, you can do this job. Um, very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I take, I don't take negative comments well, so keep it positive. L subscribe, please. I gotta get to is a thousand. Uh, help me out. Like, leave a comment. Whatever. I'm out. Peace out. Like I'll build. Signing off. I don't know. I ain't got a call sign yet.